Hello everyone and welcome to Linux Ubuntu Tutorials. In this tutorial we explain how to downgrade or uninstall a Linux kernel. And here is the motivation. I have recently installed a new Linux kernel. After the installation my network adapter and microphone are not working anymore. Consequently I need to revert back to an older stable Linux Ubuntu kernel. Before I start with explanations, let me briefly explain the problem, since you might experience a very similar problem. If I type this command, and if I press enter, I'm going to list all the previously installed kernels, including the current kernel. My current kernel is this one over here, and it's not working properly, and I want to downgrade to this kernel over here. And that's precisely what I will teach you in this video tutorial. If you want to see what is your current kernel, you will simply type this command. And this command will list you the current kernel. Before we start with explanations, here is another thing to keep in mind. Namely, first we need to boot into an older stable kernel, such that we can downgrade our kernel. To do that, we need to open a grand unified bootloader menu or group menu on our computer. In my case, I'm using a dual boot option, that is, I can choose between Windows and Linux, and the menu is automatically loaded. In your case, depending on the type of computer you're using and your BIOS setting, you can load the group menu by repeatedly pressing the left shift key for BIOS systems or repeatedly pressing the escape key for WEFI system. That is, once you restart the computer, and I will show that later on, you either need to press the left shift, shift key several times or the escape key several times in order to load the group menu. Okay, let me show you how to load the group menu and how to select the proper kernel. Here I'm going to restart my computer and you will see in real time what's happening. Okay, so let's be patient over here and let's wait. Now, after my computer is restarted, I can select the proper option. You can see it over here. You can see what I have. I need to select advanced options for Ubuntu. If you don't see this menu, then you either need to press the left shift key several times or escape. So I can press over here and you can see the options. In my case, I'm going to go with this option over here. 27 generic. That is, I need to downgrade to this version since 28 is unstable. Here you have to be very careful. You have to identify the unstable version. It should be this one in my case. However, in your case, these numbers might be different. So I will click here and then now I'm loading the stable version and then I can simply log in and my Linux Ubuntu session. Now that we have restarted our computer and loaded the stable kernel, we can proceed further with the downgrade of an stable kernel. To do that, let's open a terminal once again. And in the terminal, let's type this command to list again all the kernels. And here they are. In my case, I want to remove this kernel, kernel over here, that is, I want to downgrade to this kernel. To do that, we need to execute these two commands. Namely, we need to type sudo apt get, and then we need to type purge, and then we need to specify the version. Here you can simply copy the version that you want to downgrade, in my case, here is the version, and I will paste it over here. And this is the command. And let's press enter, and let's see what will happen. Enter your sudo password, and here it is. Let's press Y, and that's it. Okay, so here you need to be patient since the whole process might take a while. Click here, cancel, and that's it. Okay. Now, let's repeat this command. However, this time we don't want to remove the image, we want to remove the headers. 
here it is press enter and here it is okay let's wait for a while and that's it great then let's now update the grub here it is and finally let's run this command so we can remove all kernels that are not necessary anymore so let's press enter and let's see what will happen and then press y and this will purge and clean up the cache good and finally we can reboot our system by typing sudo reboot and you can press enter and this will restart your computer 